Hey, I'm Big Dan. I'm Little Dan. And today we're in the garage. Yep, uh, basically what we've done, we've ordered uh, a big box of beer. You can't see it down here, like it's Amazon a Amazon tripod. All, all the bands but, that bought out beers, all the metal bands that bought out beers, we've, uh, we've bought them all. So yeah, we've bought, so we've got, well no, it's not all of them, there's loads, but yeah. this one company we've ordered from, they do a sample pack, so it's nine beers, each from a different band, or there's two from Maiden, but, um, so we thought, fuck it, we'll get a pack each and we'll, uh, Drink them all in one night. Yeah, so, um, cheers. <laughs> cheers. This is such a bad idea. So, first up, we're looking at Troopers Red and Black. Hope the camera can pick that up okay. But I haven't had this before, I've had the so, regular trooper. Yeah, this is, um, we'll probably repeat ourselves when we say the first trooper was a bit middle of the road, a bit safe. Band beers were kind of a new thing. The brewery that made the beer for Maiden kind of wanted to play it safe and didn't want to be too risky with a flavourful beer. So um, That's much better, man. Yeah, after, oh. after Trooper did really well, um, the, obviously the brewery went and said, yeah, we'll uh, make another flavour and something a bit nicer, so not nicer, but you know, stronger for uh, beer fans. 6.8% as well, mm. it's quite hefty for a beer. Stronger, it's a bit little, mm. oh, it's a porter, mm. it's the kind of shit you want to read for him. Uh, this is a, a, literal, a quote from Bruce Dickinson, the colour, it's not just black, it's red too. <laughs> the red and black, or red and black, as I would say. It's a man of many words, old Bruce. Yeah, words, yeah, it's like, <laughs> it, is, it is a colour. It is also two colours. Oh, I call it the two colours that they've called. That's well, quite tasty, isn't it? It's a bit, a bit on the fruity side, but um, much, much stronger beer than like Trooper. Like, it's it. incredibly well packaged. That it's, is fucking brilliant. Like, each beer has a fucking like little sleeping bag. What was the name of the company? Uh, Icon Brewery. Yeah, Icon, Icon Beverages. So it's all, like, it's all like fan stuff. But there's, there's loads of other ones as well. Like, I can't quite remember what's in this box, but there's like ones from Behemoth and like there's wines and stuff. Is it the Behemoth one? I don't think so. It's not, oh. not, it's not in this pack anyway. I want to try some of that fucking hot sauce from these bands have got out. Yeah, and this 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 pack was like twenty six pounds each, basically. So twenty six pounds for nine beers. That's including delivery. And I got the quicker one to two day delivery as well. Mm. That is, that is Moorish, isn't it? It's kind of what I could have at the pub. <sighs> Please drink responsibly. Yeah. I know it's harder to get in other countries. I think they may be stopping to do this one soon. It does say at the top there, limited edition. Yeah, so you might not be able to get some much sooner. Much sooner. Oh, we should, we should buy like a case of it and just let it stoop for six years. Stoop. See what happens. I don't think... <laughs> You're capable of buying beer and then letting it sit there for six years, I don't think. I'm not capable of buying beer and letting it sit there for five fucking minutes now. Yeah. <laughs> Next, oh, okay, not a metal band. These are really well packaged. Not a metal band. ACDC. It's hard rock. It is beer. It's German beer. G German Australian beer. German Australian beer. Um, rock or bust. Rock or bust, play ball, rock the blues away, misadventure, dogs of war, got some rock and roll, thunder, hard times, baptism by fire, rock the house, sweet candy. It's a pint fire. can as well. It is, it's yeah, it's a fucking huge can. It's not, it's not a 500 mil or when you're, you're EU board shit. Um, where's the percentage? Can you see the percentage here? Yeah, it's 5%. Written, 5%. Fucking huge there. 5%. Let's crack it open then. Yeah. It's one of them. Lager. It's lager, yeah? Yeah. Quite a flavoursome lager though. It is. We are, uh, just so you're aware, we are drinking this warm. Right. We've not refrigerated any of it. It's come straight out of the box. It's been sat in the house for two days. But then, we're allowed to drink it warm. We're British. We are British. And we're in a fairly chilled room -ish. I mean, you could just about see your breath in here. So it's not, we're not totally out of the, the beer it's, is warm. It's not like um, it's not like most lagers that you get over here because 
Uh, the lagers in this country are phenomenally shit. Water, yeah. It just tastes like fucking fizzy water, man. Um, that's why every fucking pub has Fosters. Yeah. It's just shit. Yeah, um, it's quite, mm. So yeah, this is actually yeah, got yeah. quite. It's actually nice to have a lager that, that has some flavour. Mm. I kind of feel like they want some more metal stuff. Maybe. You know, because we're a metal channel. It's a deep. <laughs> shit, isn't it? <laughs> and it's a motorhead lager. The six point two percent imperial pale lager. I've had a swig of it already. It's it's quite a nice lager. Very fruity. Yeah, it's a really nice lager. Really quite strong flavour. Have you have a look, look at the on and from there I don't know if the camera can pick it up very well but looks amazing very all, all my head font out the back uh, it's fucking tasty really a really nice lager it's like if someone gave you a lager you think oh it's going to taste like water this doesn't it's, just, it's quite nice it says on the back this handcrafted imperial pale lager is specially brewed to honour and celebrate 40 years of the loudest rock and roll music enjoy motorhead for life it's got a real nice flavour so really strong like well, obviously, we're still drinking it at room temperature, so it's still really nice, though. It's beautiful. 1975 to 2015. Yeah, that's a top quality lager, it really is. Hang on a second. What? Not 2015, Lem's died, was it? It was late, yeah, because it was near Christmas, wasn't it? Oh, man. Yeah. Did you watch his funeral? I actually didn't. Mm. I watched it live, it was fucking brilliant. Yeah. Best funeral I've ever watched online. <laughs> <laughs> How many funerals you watched online, Dad? It's current day. It's current day. Including this year. Including this year, yeah. One. One, yeah. <laughs> Marshall. Marshall beer. What, what is it? It's a uh, blonde. It's a blonde beer. Marshall. As I'm, in the amplifiers. I'm a blonde Dan. You're a blonde Dan. Yeah. Rock and roll craft beer. We live for music. <coughs> Festivals and intimate. Oh, intimate, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Whether sharing with friends, at a gig, or just hanging out, you hanging out there? Oh, oh, always hanging out. Six percent. Let the music take you. God, this is very sexual. I'm, I'm right-handed. Give me a second. I forgot that completely. There we go. <laughs> you're in, you're, you're in. Thank you. So yeah, a, a blonde, blonde beer, six percent. So th have we had anything under five percent yet? No. No. It's been quite good. Oh. Well, that's a lot of aftertaste after that, isn't it? Yeah, it could. It's quite a strong aftertaste. It, it, it kicks you, doesn't it? It doesn't hit you initially, but it does no. really, yeah. But then suddenly it stabs you in the back of the throat. Yeah. Like Varg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, it's, it's quite nice, that is. It's, mm. it's quite strong. Um, yeah, that's, it. that's interesting. Got Marshall's having met, Yeah, because yeah, like, there was no preconception of what this was going to taste like in the slightest. It's like, it's Marshall beer. What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, this doesn't taste like us. I thought it was just gonna be like a run in the mill kind yeah, of um, a shit, a shit lager. A shit, is what I was yeah, a, yeah, a shit yard lager that they've put a cool fucking mm. logo on and uh, twat to read the NME and shit like that. Twat to read, yeah, um, Rock Sound magazine. Oh, oh. Marshall is 3D. It's it's oh oh Ooh. oh it's touchy yeah. feely guys. Touchy feely. Is it scratch and sniff? You can't. Does it smell like you can't quite feel this? The corn studios. You can't feel this on camera, but that's the oh, 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 ribbed. My pleasure. <laughs> ribbed. <laughs> oh, Slayer, yeah. Oh yeah, let's go for it, man. Slayer. I hope this is um. It's a red ale. Would oh, you, would, brilliant. Would you expect anything less? That is a beautiful label. Oh, look at the barcode on the back, Dan. What's the bar? Oh wow! Ah! It's, it's a cross. Yeah. The barcode. Wow. That's awesome. A beer Whoa. that refuses to compromise in any way. We are proud to deliver a red ale of the highest quality and distinction using five different malts. Five, Dan. Five. For a strong base. Wow. 6.5%. Slayer. Red ale. Mm. Cool. Let's get this fucker yeah. open then. Ooh. It's going to be a very flavourful one, like the uh, motorhead one. Give it a wine swell. Wine swell. Ooh! That's strong. No, no, see, that's the opposite to the last one. Yeah? It immediately hits you with flavour. Yeah, yeah. But, but then it dies out. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, massive big hit of initial flavour, but no after flavour. 
We are not also having any sort of palate cleansers, are we? No, we're not. No. <laughs> what, what the fuck do you want? Ice cream? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fuck. <laughs> we're drinking nine diff- very different beers. We, mix- we are very much mixing our... So what, we've got, um, we haven't hit one side yet. We haven't, no. So, what is this? Number five? Number five. It was, uh, in, in, in this box there is one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, two more each, by the looks of it. Three more each. Hang on. One, two. That's one. What's six divided two. by two? Right, yeah, three. Yeah. I may have had more beer than I thought I had. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. It looks like, just from looking at the bottle caps, there's a status quo, you know. Aww. The most metal band ever. <laughs> Fucking dad rock. Uh, Trooper. Which, to be honest, we all know what Trooper tastes like. So yeah, we don't, yeah. Good. But we're going to drink it anyway. <laughs> The other one, I can't remember what the other one is, so it'd be fun to find out. Don't worry it? about it then. But yeah, this slate one, fucking awesome. That's fucking oh, sick, isn't it? The label as well, like. Yeah. Do you want me to pull you off? Pull me off. It's a boy. It's a status quo's. Down, down, down cider. Down, down cider. Dad, right. Like, it's the first cider we've had. Potentially the only cider. That's a big fucking bottle, it's probably the milk. Uh, yeah, find the other side. There we are. Here oh, it is. Here's cider. Here it is. It, they've gone for sort of a typical kind of status quo, retro kind of 50s um, pin-up theme on this bottle. Yep, not metal. Not metal. 4.6%, that's a bit dad rock. Yep. <laughs> but uh, beautifully rounded, golden with a well-balanced finish. Down Down is a true half a sheer medium cider. And what I can say is that it, it, it came with the set. Yeah, we're not massive status quo fans. Oh look, goths can drink it. It's suitable for vegans. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, see the thing is, I want to hate it because it's status quo. The thing is, I don't hate status quo. No, no. I don't status quo, it's, it's good advert music. So, let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> it tastes like exactly as I expected. It is a cider. It tastes. It, I'm not thinking, is it that far? Huh? Is it that far? No, it is. It, it, it hasn't got the sharpness that I like for cider. No, see, but see, I, I like cider in two ways. I like right. it sweet yeah. or sharp. Yeah. But this is kind of a bit. I'm thinking of the last time I drank something like Frosty Jacks, right? And I'm thinking this isn't far off it. Oh, what, do you mean um, brain bleach? Yeah. Yeah. This isn't far off, is it? It is. In taste. It is, because this has actually is got it? weird apples in it. Um, yeah, no, I don't care what it says it's on It's not it. made from chemicals. But from, what I can t- <laughs> but from what I can taste, how far off is it from chemical cider? You see, the thing is, because you're not a cider drinker, you just think no. all cider is the same. I do, yeah. I did, to us, yeah. You see, especially after drinking lagers and ale, a cider, when you have a cider after lager or ale, it should just kick oh, you in I, the fucking yes, face, you know what I mean? I but do just... admit, this is slightly refreshing. Mm. But it's not, it just tastes mm. like a really shit apple. Yeah. To be fair, I'm actually quite disappointed with this. Disappointed, it's not strong enough for you. Is it as middle of the road as status quo music? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In fact, if, if I had to choose one beverage to sum up the band's status fucking quo, it would be, it would be down, down fucking down, down, down cider. <laughs> it's the motorhead cider, I think, I hope so. Hang on. Beer uh, drinkers and hell Is it beer? It is, it's a lager. Ooh. All beer drinkers and hellraisers, fans of loud and fast rock and roll, no matter if you have no class or a damaged case. This means machine lager is fuel for headbangers opportunity. I'm pretty sure that's been translated from another fucking language. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is um It's got a motorhead um bottle cap, though. Eh? Oh sick. That's much better than a lot of the other ones. Do you know what we'll do with these? Get a load of fucking cheap um pin badges offline, online, yeah, and uh Wrapping around the fucking pin badges. Oh yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Four point seven percent. It's a little bottle of beer, but um, what? Drop my bottle. Drop your bottle. Drop your bottle. Drop your bottle. Oh, cheers. Tastes like lager, doesn't it, Dan? It tastes like. Um, I wish we'd taste this lager first. Yeah. Yeah. Do, what this tastes like is uh, fizzy water. Yeah. The other 
Motorhead Lager was much, much nicer than this one. This, this, this tastes like you go into a pub and you ask, Lager top, please. I'm surprised the amount of little beers. I mean, I suppose many people like little beers. I don't get it. It's stubby cans that you get. What the fuck's about? Like, I don't know. If you're not from, like, you know, either the UK or Germany, you like small beer. So, these are fine, but... In, in the UK we like pints, in Germany they're like pints and bigger. <laughs> Two pints, three yeah, pints. Yeah. And then like everywhere else on the planet they seem to drink what the fuck they want in, in ridiculously small quantities for the fuck knows what reason. <coughs> oh, he, he made the Ace of Spades his own thing, didn't he? Say him. No, nobody else can claim the Ace of Spades as their thing. Well oh, put it this way, he made lead bass a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <you know? laughs> oh wow. What do you play? Lead bass. Lead bass. <laughs> Fuck off, do you? <laughs> Fuck off, do you play lead bass? No one's a lead fucking bassist. And my voice sounds like one chainsaw fucking another chainsaw. What? One chainsaw <laughs> fucking another chainsaw. <laughs> right, when we buy a new chainsaw, our new chainsaw will fuck our, own, our old chainsaw. We're going to make two chainsaws fuck each other. Yeah. And I'm really hoping the new chainsaw wins because if it doesn't, it means we've bought a new chainsaw and it's been broken by trying to break the old chainsaw. Oh, the, the chainsaw hasn't made a fucking appearance in a little while, has it? Not no, since Halloween. We need we need video ideas for chainsaws. Have a fist. <laughs> Do you need a beer, Dan? No, no cock! No <laughs> cock punches! <laughs> Alright, we've got one more left. Um, no surprises to anyone, because... Um, pull out, would you? <sighs> oh, which, which head did you get? I got... Um, um, Time, no, uh, just let me know if it's in time. Somewhere in time, yeah. Somewhere in time, yeah. <laughs> so, we've got the same batch. Trooper! Trooper, old friend of ours. What does the beer taste like? Trooper? <laughs> How, I mean, I must have had at least 100 pints of Trooper by now. At least, if not more. Like, I'd have to drink it to know what a pint of Trooper tastes like. But, but Dan, we're supposed to be telling the <laughs> viewers right. what it tastes like, you know, because... Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Our review of Trooper Beer. This, mm. this tastes like Steve Harris's cock cheese. Oh my god! <laughs> look at look at this. <laughs> I, I fucking I've drank so much fucking Trooper. It's unbelievable. On the back it says the charge of the Light Brigade, which inspired the Iron Maiden song The Trooper, took place at the Battle of Balclava. 1854. Balclava. Is it Balaclava? Balaclava, yeah. Is that where Balaclava's come from? Yes! <laughs> Fucking brilliant! Yeah, something like 600 British cavalry, um, they marched towards um, Russian, artillery, Russian artillery, and uh, yeah, shit happened. So they wrote a song called The Trooper, it's possibly one of the most popular songs, they bought out a beer, so what do they call it? They call it The Trooper, and it tastes like beer. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> okay, so that was us. Drinking the beers and shit. Yep, we've drank a lot of beers and um, we've hopefully give you a you know, boner. Yeah, and a, a slight hint of what they maybe taste like. And the truth is, we're pretty shit at this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, go go buy these beers yourself. I mean, there's, there's loads more than we've bought. I mean, we bought the sampler pack, so like, it's got nine beers. And there's a shit ton more. I mean, there's not one behemoth one in here, and there's loads of other bands of released beers. Yeah, if there's any beers you want to see us review, <laughs> yeah, buy them for us and send them to us. Um, yeah, fuck it. Bye. 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 At work, somebody said that there's something off behind Marks and Sparks.
Would that, was it a woman? No. No, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was half expecting that because I kind of thought I thought you said to somebody I was like no woman <laughs> my brain went did you take them off on their offer yes it's not gay if it's a bloke <laughs> is it it's, not gay, it's only gay if the balls touch no I didn't, yeah. I, I, didn't I, I decided it was best not to um, why break the habit of a lifetime and start getting sexual favours 